My name is Dominic Power. I'm a consultant hand and peripheral nerve surgeon based in Birmingham in the UK, and I'm one of the editors for Orthorical Hand, Wrist and Peripheral Nerve. This short video is about the use of advanced process nerve graft in reconstruction of peripheral nerves and information for surgeons. Following a nerve injury, after debridement, a nerve gap may result. The gold standard for reconstruction is to use autologous cabled nerve graft reversed and sutured in place or glued in place across the gap to allow regeneration of axons. The cost of this is a donor nerve has to be harvested from someone else, somewhere else in the patient, and that can create a, a proximal stump neuroma, neuropathic pain, particularly in a patient who's already sensitized with neuropathic pain, and an area of numbness. Advanced process nerve allograft is now available for use in peripheral nerve repair. It's harvested at the same time as solid organ donation. Patients are screened to eliminate the risk of infection transmission and the nerve is stored after harvest until the outcome of the solid organ transplantation is known. The nerve is then released for processing and using a proprietary system of enzyme depletion and detergent washing, its cellular content is removed. What remains is a endoskeleton scaffold, fascicle structure with endoneural tubes, and it effectively looks like a nerve. One of the enzymes that's used is to get rid of neurotoxic proteoglycans within the basement membrane that can inhibit axonal regeneration. The nerve is inspected, its quality is assured, and it's created in a series of segments, 15, 30, 50, and 70 millimeter lengths. The available diameters are one to two millimeters, two to three, three to four, and four to five. It's sterilized and it's frozen ready for distribution. For a surgeon who's never used processed nerve allograft before, it's provided frozen, but the surgeon needs to specify the length of nerve that he may be required for a particular reconstruction. This, create, this requires a little bit of experience, but typically for a digital nerve neuroma, a 30 millimeter length may be enough with a typical distance required for reconstruction of between 18 and 22 millimeters and a diameter of one to two millimeters. For a larger nerve, I prefer a cable technique using what we would do in an autologous nerve reconstruction. And this increases the surface area to volume to allow rapid revascularization. So for the median nerve, perhaps three or four cables of a two to three millimeter diameter allograft may be appropriate. Distribution companies are able to supply the selected allograft to the hospital, ready for use, um, and it's provided on dry ice. And if the box is not opened, it can be returned, and then it can be uh, restored, ready for use on another occasion. In my own uh, clinic, we have a human tissue bank, and because we're a large user of peripheral nerve, allograft in our complex peripheral nerve reconstructive cases, we actually store a number of sizes and lengths on site so they're readily available. What the surgeon needs to tell their patient is that allograft is a useful adjunct for reconstruction of sensory nerves. There's good evidence to support this and in large data series, randomized controlled trials and the evidence from the Ranger registry study, the use in short and intermediate gap digital nerve demonstrates equivalence to autologous nerve graft reconstruction with approximately 75% of patients achieving S3 or S3 plus recovery using the sensory MRC scale. Used in larger nerves, so sensory nerves outside the hand or mixed nerves, the evidence is less clear. However, there is an excellent safety profile and utility data with few complications demonstrates that this is a useful adjunct in a peripheral nerve surgeon's toolbox. The surgeon should be aware that patients in the UK should be given enhanced governance assessment. And this starts with preoperatively, the patient has to be given written information explaining about the use of allograft and the clinical outcome has to be monitored and recorded, including sensory and motor assessments where necessary, typically two point discrimination and monofilaments and an MRC or myometry, a quality of life measure and a patient reported outcome measure. And this is a current requirement of NICE, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence. More information can be found on the website www.nice.org.uk and the Interventional Procedure Guidance 597 
the use of processed nerve allograft in peripheral nerve repair is useful for surgeons to read.